I stood on the yellow footprints and shut my mouth, humbled myself, followed orders and directives, and 24 years later, here I am having an opportunity to speak into your life. What did I do that was special? Never quit and never give up. So I remember growing up here in Louisiana and I remember 18 years old working at a grocery store and then working for a, uh, a late carpet for a little while, did some flooring. I had looked at the military, actually was gonna join the army at first. And then about a year prior to joining the military, my brother signed a contract for the delay entry program into the Marine Corps. His recruiter came to me and said, hey, if you join your brother, we'll give you a thousand dollar sign up bonus. Thousand dollars? Hell, I ain't never seen no thousand dollars. Where do I sign that piece of paper? So two weeks before he went to boot camp, I took the ASVAB and went down to medical and did all that high speed 007 stuff. And next thing you know, I was on an airplane with my brother going to MCRD San Diego. I stood on the yellow footprints and shut my mouth, humbled myself, followed orders and directives. And 24 years later, here I am having an opportunity to speak into your life. What did I do that was special? Nothing. I listened. I obeyed. I followed orders. I trusted the leaders before me to help me, to guide me, to direct me. Was there poor leaders throughout the entire process? Absolutely. When you're a private, you listen to your PFCs. For your PFCs, you listen to your Lance Corporals. Your Lance Corporals, you listen to your Corporals. Each time you learn, I'm gonna learn from this person. I'm not gonna do anything this person does. Long story short, you start progressing. When you start progressing, you start to change. When you start to change, you grow up, you mature. You become smarter, faster, wiser than you were before. When I joined the Marine Corps, I was 18 years old. And I turned 19 in boot camp. Of course, you're not really thinking about your birthday because you're hoping that they don't find out it's your birthday because the next thing you know, you'll get harassed for the next 24 hours. So I made sure that I avoided any attention to myself. And sometimes the best thing you can do in life, especially to become a good Marine, is shut your mouth, listen to the people that are going out of their way, trying to teach you, train you, and mentor you to be the best Marine that you can possibly be. You gotta remember there's always someone in front of us teaching us, training us, guiding us, regardless of what rank you get to. Even when you get to the highest enlisted rank, which is Sergeant Major, you still have officers that are telling you what to do. You still have warrant officers that are telling you what to do. You still have other people in the chain of command that are getting paid more money to be able to help you make the right decisions. It's a simple process. It's iron and sharpening iron. Yes, they don't call it that. They call it, you know, Marine Corps leadership and uh, 14 leadership traits. One of the first things I was ever taught as a Marine. Justice, judgment, decisiveness, integrity, dependability, tact, initiative, endurance, bearing, unselfishness, courage, knowledge, loyalty, and enthusiasm. Not too shabby for somebody who's been out of the Corps for a decade. And I learned that 24 years ago. You know something? At the end of the day, the Marine Corps made me an outstanding Marine. Because first and foremost, I was willing. Number two is I was obedient. And number three is I went through the methodical process that the Marine Corps put you through. Progression, 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 setback. Progression, 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 setback. And just when you start to get cocky and confident, there's always another leader that gives you a little humble pie. Like we say it in the South, a little humble pie. I was really struggling because I was a staff and CO and I was really struggling on how to treat the Marines and still be a Christian at the same time. We we're getting ready to go to Iraq and, and God led me to a scripture. It says, those who love discipline love knowledge and those who hate discipline are stupid. And God reminded me, if you are not hard on these people and you don't hold them accountable from a leadership perspective, these people are going to die in combat or they're going to get somebody else killed and not on my watch one of the things we say in the military is not on my watch not today not on my watch 
That's all I got to say for today. Hopefully you enjoyed today's message, words of encouragement. Remember, don't let what you can't do stop you from what you can do. I'm going to let you go so I can enjoy this beautiful city of mine, New Orleans, Louisiana. God bless. Simplify. It's Nichols. Hoover! Subscribe. I said subscribe! Hey, what's going on? So if you're interested in seeing Stasro Nichols and other Marine Corps drill instructors transform recruits into United States Marines, go ahead and pick up Black Friday Dark Dawn. There's six films that will take you through recruit training from start to finish and give you an inside look on what Marine Corps training is all about. Plus, you get a chance to see me and some of these other amazing drill instructors doing what we did best at that time, which was make Marines. God bless. Semper Fi. Stasro Nichols. Oorah.